called Building Ten with My Friends. It talks about different ways to make tens. Oh, look, a table of contents. I know that this will help me know what we'll find on different pages. We won't read all of these pages, but we'll try out a couple. Counting beads. That's the heading. It tells me this section is going to be about counting beads. Oscar and Annika are using beads to make bracelets. How many beads do we have? Annika asks. Oscar and Annika want to count the beads. Counting lets them find the number of beads. We use the number to count. We start with one, then say the numbers in order. How many yellow beads do you see? How many red beads do you see? Bundles of 10. This reminds me of math. Oscar counts 10 beads. 10 is a bundle of 10 ones. Bundle of 10 ones are called 10s. Annika thinks it will take too long to count all of the beads. Let's count the rest of the beads in tens, she says. Ten, 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 ten. There are six bundles of ten beads. That makes 60 beads. I could count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. This setting says counting in tens. Counting in tens is quicker than counting in ones. We can count large numbers by adding bundles of tens together. 10, 20, 30. There are three bundles of 10 crayons. That makes 30 crayons. How many strawberries are there? Count in tens to find out. Can you count them? That's right, there's 40 strawberries. What about the ladybugs? That's right, there's 60 ladybugs. How many to 10? We can make bundles of tens in many ways. Annika eats eight cupcakes. She wonders how many more she needs to make 10. Hmm. Oscar gives Annika two more cupcakes. Eight plus two makes 10. Eight plus two makes 10. Annika makes three more cupcakes. How many more does she need to make a 10? What do you think? <clears throat> we'll stop here. If you wanna learn more about groups of 10, you can find this book on Epic.